Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to some more Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft. Today we're gonna be messing around with a Death Rattle deck for the Warlock. And apparently this is actually a pretty solid deck. I've seen multiple people reporting that they managed to get to Legend uh, with this exact same deck. So we're gonna give this one a try. Uh, now as you can see I am pretty low up on the ladder at the moment. The season recently reset and I haven't really had the chance yet uh, to play a whole lot. But I've played, I've played a few games with this deck and so far I'm like 50-50, okay? There's still a bunch of good people actually in these ranks as well uh, but so far it seems to be mainly just 50 50 for the fact that um, you know there's there's still there's still good people in here but there's a lot of randomness in this deck either you completely obliterate your opponent or you just sort of get wrecked and nothing really gets out of it so that's what we're gonna try and achieve we're gonna try that very first um, actually did I say obliterate first or did I say that we get wrecked first I'm not completely sure, but anyways, we're gonna start digging right here at the beginning of the game uh, for the lovely Dovely. You know what I'm talking about right here. It's gonna be the Drake. We need the Twilight Drake um, in order to uh, start off strong. It is going to be a little bit tricky, but I do have some Dark Bombs in the deck to make sure... Well, we get a second one right there as well, to make sure that we, um, we don't just straight up die to all the shenanigans that he's throwing out. Um, and basically what we're trying to tap for for the time being is to make sure that we get these Twilight Drakes as soon as, as we can out on the board. And obviously that would mean that we get a very high level one because we haven't really played that many cards yet. It's a bit of a tricky deck though, I'm not gonna lie. It is a bit of a tricky deck, so hopefully I'll be able to show you some good ones. Uh, nothing too amazing so far. Just gonna keep on tapping here. Don't have really much of anything to play right here, so that's gonna end my turn. Um, he did play, um, he did play a, a secret right there, so that is a bit... Bit tricky, could obviously be something that will allow him to obviously duplicate the one that we got right now, which would be unfortunate. Or like duplicate as soon as we play something, like a mirror entity. Um, but... Well, how many cards do I have in hand right now? This is six. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to start playing stuff here. We're gonna have to start playing stuff here. I am actually gonna play Baron Rivendane, and then I'm only gonna also point out... Uh, the Norubian Egg, just to make sure that we get some uh, some things up on the board. Now, the Baron, Baron Riven they, they are right there, obviously make sure that all the Death Rattles do trigger twice, so it's gonna it's gonna be interesting. Um, ideally, I would also make sure that this uh, this Egg is gonna pop very soon. We could even kill it with the Demon Heart if we really want to, uh, but I'd rather not. I would rather not. <laughs> all right, looks like he's gonna, he's gonna waste his cards. He's gonna waste a Fireball on it. That is more than fine for me. We're just trying to buy some time, get to the higher mana counts here. Well, he seems to be doing something very similar, though. Um, I kind of do want to tap, but I also want to get Sludge Belcher out. Uh, we got six. Yeah, we got eight cards in hand. All right, we can tap once. We can tap once. It's all right. All right, Stalak is actually a very solid card right here, uh, but not much we can do at this point. Gonna have to end my turn. Um, I can get one more card next turn in my hand as well. If I didn't miscount. Yeah, we do have nine cards in hand right now, so we are fine. Uh, Slalak is one of the other cards that is pretty solid. I would rather get Fugan right now. Fugan would be a little bit more solid all around. Uh, but either are right. Uh, obviously, we are running both of them, so we might be able to get an 11-11. All right. We do, so, uh, do see Archmage Antonidas, which is not ideal. But we can just destroy him if you want to. I think that is exactly what's going to happen. I don't really have very much um, to deal with him for the time being. Yeah, I'm just gonna siphon soul the thing down. Not gonna be very many other uh, great targets for this. He may be using that uh, that standard like mecha mage that a lot of people are playing, but then again, he's not really playing minions himself. Hmm. This is a weird game so far. He's not playing cards. I'm not really playing cards either. Do have the double shadow flame in hand as well if we need it. Um, and I, I'd rather use the demon heart right now with the um, what's the uh, the mistress of pain. I'd rather play the demon heart with the mistress of pain. We are running two of those. So. So I'd rather I'd rather have that. All right, not a secret being played. Now, if we could get something nice, that'd be good. All right, power overwhelming. I think I'm gonna use it right now, um, just so I can start life tapping away as well. And Mistress of Pain is actually very solid in this scenario too. But I think I'd rather play the Sludge Belcher and just start hitting him in the face. Let's see what happens. It's probably one shield. All right, he's actually gonna vaporize. That is more than okay for me. <clears throat> that is a, a wasted vapor race right there. Is it also gonna be an ice barrier? Yep All right, cool So we have the combination right here of mistress of pain and demon heart now This combination is pretty cool because it basically means that I get to heal myself for whatever I take damage with on the mistress of pain It's very strong. Uh, we can actually get up to six heals done uh, or like six heal in one turn from the mistress of pain It's really good. All right. He's gonna flame strike cool. 
And I am supposing he's gonna finish this minion off as well. Maybe he's not. Yeah, I think he is. Good for me. That works for me. Alright, so what do we do right here? I think I'm gonna play Stalag actually. Or I could also go ahead and play the Mistress of Pain. Um, we have... Yeah, we got too many cards. <laughs> we got too many cards I right here. Alright, now we can now we can life that. Still no Twilight Drakes. There's two Twilight Drakes in there. I have only 12 cards remaining. Oh, whatever. We'll do it like this. Give it a 6-9 right there. Okay. Man, come on. We need to be getting that Twilight Drake at some point, right? We've been digging for it all game. I've literally got two in there. I guess we're gonna get them shortly. Still got a lot of cards in hand, though. It's just getting kind of scary now, but... Alright, he's just gonna Frost Nova it down. Not sure what he's digging for either, though. It's a bit strange. Uh, so basically what happens right now, whenever this minion deals damage, restore that smart health to your hero. So we get a lot of heals from it. Which is very, very strong. Obviously. Ooh, he's gonna Ice Lance. Is he gonna double Ice Lance it? He may be running that Frost Mage. Yeah, he is. Alright. I am not too worried about that, though. Still, still nothing. Still absolutely nothing. Um, Alright, so what's the next next uh, maneuver right here? I'd rather be playing Stalag right now, but obviously I need to be dealing with that Astro Drake. Um, don't have a spell minion myself. Or like a, um, a um, spell damage minion myself, so I think I'm gonna have to Siphon Soul that as well. Yeah, might as well. Still nothing. Wow, I am surprised by this, though. Like, we have still... There's still of them in there. <laughs> we had literally a... Oh my god, this is this is ridiculous. I, I'm not even gonna try and attempt to calculate the math of not drawing one of them in uh, in 20 cards. But man, he's actually gone Alex Traza right here. Okay. Still nothing. Um, I'm thinking of just going for the Hellfire. Probably gonna be worth it at this point. I mean, I'm gonna have to play them at some point. Uh, can I kill that thing, though? Let me double check. It is 6 damage right there. Um, I think I may be able to just barely not kill it. Let me have a double check. Um, no, that's 6 damage right there. I should have saved my Siphon Soul for that. Um, 6 damage from those two. That's 7. I'm just barely... I'm barely short. That is very unfortunate here. can play the antique heal bots, but then we're one mana short. Alright, gonna have to play him here anyway. Am I? Well, no. Well, let's just play it first. It's unfortunate, but we're gonna have to at some point. Gonna do some healing to myself, and... Well, let's get one health done then as well. <laughs> Nothing too amazing, but... Whew. So we've been digging. We've been digging for 21 cards. To make sure that we get the one card that we are looking for. There's two of them in there. But still, it's just not happening. It is just not happening right here. Alright, Ragnaros as well. I think he's gonna ping that one off and probably trade. Straight to the face. Oh my god. Still nothing. Still absolutely nothing. Should we just life tap here? It's kind of risky. Well, we can. We do have the option too. Oh my god, man. Where are those cards? Where are them? I don't know. Alright. I, I guess I'll just play a couple minions. Just to make sure that we have something out on the board now. Still looking. Still looking. There's two, there's two left. I might draw myself death because they're probably at the very bottom. Two of them. <laughs> We've been drawing for a solid 10 minutes, and we have not found them yet. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, well, I hope he doesn't have lethal. That would be very unfortunate. I think he may have, though. <sighs> Alright. Well, LaCarl, show me what you're made of. You got 9 cards yourself. If you have fireballs, no, you already wasted all your ice lances and, and your fireballs and everything, right? So... Alright, we do still have a chance of winning this, though. 
Yeah, we're still we're still in a in a decent position. All right, now it's getting a little bit scary. Oh fuck! Wow, he could have just fireballed my face and almost if they uh, well 50-50 win, I suppose it's a little bit safer for him. There we go. That's what we were looking for all game long. Not sure if it's worth it right now. Probably isn't. I think I'm dead either way. Hmm. Well, we can't dark bomb that guy down. And then we can also we can actually silence it. I mean, not much else we can really do at this point. I don't want to risk it. All right. So he is silenced. He cannot normally attack with it, but let's hope we can try and come back in this. Uh, my antique heal bot is already played, so I actually am dead. Wow. Are you for real here? Are you for real here? It took me 25 draws or 24 draws to get one Twilight Drake? Oh man. Alright, alright, we're just gonna we're just gonna do this one more once more. That is unfortunate. Let's hope we can find a Twilight Drake in this one. Um, I mean that was we had we had all the cards in hand right there. We didn't get our Keltuzad, we didn't get our Twilight Drake. Um, and what else didn't we get? There was a... Oh yeah, we didn't get Fugan either. And those were all at the very bottom. So, literally the cards that I was looking for were in the last seven cards right there. The last six, seven cards. Really not um, not fortunate right there. Okay, let's see another one. Let's <laughs> let's see another one. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be losing right now, right? Alright, well we start digging once more. We start digging once more. I'm gonna keep the Twilight... Or the, the Dark Bomb right there. And I'm looking for the Twilight Drake once again. We do have Stalag, and we got a Zombie Cho as well, which is a decent one drop, so we got that going for us, but... Alright, if he plays a Young Priestess, I'm gonna Dark Bomb it, I'm gonna play Zombie Cho, uh, turn one, though. Let's hope we, uh, we get them uh, this time around, though, that would be great. I may have jinxed it. I may have jinxed it just by uh, trying so hard to get them out, but... So the Nerubian Egg, Power Overwhelming, didn't really work out either in that last turn. It did waste two of his uh, traps, but usually that is something that at the very least does a bunch of uh, bunch of hits. He did manage to get that killed very, very quickly. Um, and then obviously the other combination we ran uh, with the Mistress of Pain also didn't end up doing a whole lot. So the, the uh, Mistress of Pain Demon Heart also didn't really end up doing a whole lot. So, you know, everything everything just didn't really go to plan. Let's hope we, uh, we can get a little bit more. This feels like the 50-50 right there. A Shadow Boxer? I've not even seen that card before. When a character is healed, deal one damage to a random enemy. Alright. Well, I think I'm just gonna Dark Bomb that down, right? Hmm, I'd rather be digging right now. If I had any kind of guarantee that I would be digging, but... Oh, uh, I'm okay. I just, uh, I'll just attack for now. I'll Dark Bomb next turn. I can take the one damage. I mean, it's not gonna change anything. Alright, so we do have the po double power overwhelming right now in hand. It's gonna heal it. He's actually gonna... He's probably gonna get lucky. Yep. Or maybe it actually means one character. It's like, um... It couldn't be my hero. Alright. Well, that's okay. Can still just life tap right here. And then Dark Bomb that thing down. Okay, so, so far, drawn 10 cards, not not seen the Twilight Drakes, not seen them yet, but I'm not, <laughs> I'm not surprised by them that yet. Um, so, so far we have drawn 35 cards, and we've gotten one. Alright, I'm gonna play Stalag here. Yeah, Stalag. I was thinking right there, maybe I should play the Sludge Belcher, but considering it's an open board, it doesn't really matter a whole lot. Fugan can now also come into the party, that's totally fine. Ooh, he's gonna silence it. Alright. Oh, alright. Well, that's cool with me. Life tap? No Twilight Drake. But that's not surprising. Gonna play the title to Treader right here and just hit him in the face. And then end my turn again. Yeah, this is, this is fine, this is fine. I think. Alright, he's gonna power Shadow Word Death hit. He actually wanted to silence and then Shadow Word Death? Maybe he already... He, may, he must have just drawn into it. Alright, Twilight Drake, please. There we go, finally! Took a little while, but welcome. Um, I'll life tap first, I think. Do I... I got six... Yeah, I need to play it first. Don't want to draw myself dead. 
And Baron Rivendane. Pretty solid card too. Let's start hitting him in the face. Alright, alright. This may this one may actually go in my favor. That'd be great. <laughs> alright, he's gonna silence it. Well. That's fine with me as well. Light of the Naru, restore three health. Summon a Light Warden. Oh, there we go. My hand is too full. Dang it. Well, no biggie. Uh, let's just start uh, playing heal bots. May as well. Get a little bit of healing done by myself. Um, wow. Did I really just do that? I think I really just did that. That was not very smart by me, was it? All right, I'll just I'll just play a couple of cards because I sort of have to. Ugh, that was a big misplay though. I really didn't need to lose my. Uh, I didn't really need to do that. I forgot that obviously it would also trigger on a self heal, and normally I'm not having any self heals. All right. Light bomb right there. All right, Twilight Drake, come on. Another one? Not quite. Ah, uh, but that's okay, though. There we go, those are the cards we were really looking for here. Um, couple options here. I was thinking about playing Baron Riffendane right now, simply so that I can play... Um, Kaltuzad next. It would be very strong, obviously. Um, well, we can also play the Sludge Belcher right here, it doesn't really change a whole lot, does it? There we go. We'll play Kaltuzad next turn. <laughs> this deck, this deck is so hit or miss though, like sometimes you get, you get in a great position and you are getting a little bit lucky, but then other times you are in the worst possible position that you've ever seen. Alright, Shadow Madness. Uh, not completely sure what that's gonna do, but hey, you're gonna get some damage done to me, congratulations. That's it? That's it, Erica? Oh, you're gonna coin something. What you gonna coin? Thank you. A Holy Fire? Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Well, looks like the Twilight Drakes just don't don't want to be in my hand uh, today, which is alright by me. Gonna do it like this instead. All right, Ragnaros coming to town here. Double A minion's health, wow. <laughs> He's gonna go up to 16 health, Ragnaros. I mean, Ragnaros is pretty good, but that seems kind of uh, kind of too much. Especially when we draw into a Scythe and Soul. There we go. Makes it a little bit easier. Um. Yeah, we'll just life that. Not a Scythe and Soul here, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna clean that guy up that way and just um, hit that thing in the face. Okay, so maybe next turn I'll finally get to play Keltizad. Or maybe Baron Rivendate or something like that. Oh god. <laughs> Did get a little bit lucky there. Alright, we'll do it like this. And obviously, now we're gonna start having the real fun right here. This is where the real fun starts, guys. We're gonna have um, Baron Rivendain, obviously, afterwards as well, which will mean that we get the crazy, crazy, crazy Kel'Thuzad returns into Baron Rivendain. If we keep him alive for one turn, that'd be great. What? Are you for real? Are you for real here? Oh my god. <laughs> this this is so strange all right I'll just I'll just do it like that I'll just get rid of the guy oh my god that is that is insane that is absolutely crazy all right well that's unfortunate we're gonna go getting a little bit of healing from the fatality uh, totem so hey there's that <laughs> he just discarded his entire hand I don't even know what to say I do not even know what to say at this point. This is so strange. Alright, I'll do it like this. Gonna get the death rattles. <laughs> he actually had a death wake in his hand. I don't even know how that happened. Um, 
Should I play Fugan? I mean, I might as well. Gotta watch out that I don't draw dead, though. Twilight Drake's still not here. Twilight Drake, obviously, is still not here. I mean, who's surprised? <laughs> I certainly am not. Alright. Uh, I'm thinking of just taunting up the, uh, the uh, egg right now. Is there anything else that really needs taunting at this point? Oh, fuck. I misplaced that. That's, that's a pretty stupid mistake right there. Um, was gonna play the um, I was gonna put it back and actually play the MC tag right here, so I'll just I'll just play that as well. Whatever. This is such a weird game at this point, man. This is such a strange game. Oh, maybe I actually should have power overwhelmed this twice and just sort of hit the sea giant. That would have pretty much been game at that point, right? But wow. All right, he's gonna heal himself up. There we go, Twilight Drake, welcome. That took you a little while. That took you a little while, but you got here eventually. At your own pace. I like that. I can appreciate that. I hope he will not leave, though. That would be unfortunate if he does. Because I would really like to see how this one turns out in the end. Alright. I am just... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do it like this. It's gonna be so cheeky. But hey, we can clean that thing up. And then I'm actually thinking of just dark bombing that guy down. Would that work? That would be... That would... Yeah, well, we can do that. Just dark bomb that, and then power overwhelm that guy as well. Alright. <laughs> the Twilight Drakes absolutely hate me, though. Like... <laughs> they have not been in my favor at all. <laughs> we have drawn so many cards, and it barely got in my hand. But well, whatever. Ooh, he actually got MC Tech as well. All right, fair enough. I am almost out of cards. I am almost out of cards. <laughs> All right. Uh, we can play the Mistress of Pain and the Demon Heart on it. It's a pretty weird combination, but it works out beautifully. Try those two. And uh, just start hitting in the face once more. Actually, it doesn't really matter. I should have just traded so I do maximum damage now. Would have been a little bit better now, think about it, because obviously uh, he's he's not gonna he's not gonna clear out the board anymore, right? At least I'm expecting he won't. All right, he's gonna get a fugin. Oh no, a hellfire! All right. At least we get some free uh, Nerubians now, so that's good. Um, all right, so life tabbing is gonna be a bad idea, but hey. Now we just go straight for the face. Alright, looks like we did manage to win a game after all. I mean, I probably did. I miss... I, I think I may have actually missed lethal. Now I look at this once better. Um, I mean... Yeah, I probably did miss lethal. I did probably lose... Or did miss lethal right there. But whatever. I was too occupied right there with the board. I probably could have just done the double... Uh, the double... Uh, power overwhelming straight to the face. That would have been great. But hey. He's nice enough to start healing me though. That's nice of him. Ooh, he does finally manage to get rid of that thing. And, well, we do take a little bit of fatigue damage. <laughs> but we're gonna finish it off right here. <laughs> well, I started off this video explaining that this deck is very hit or miss, right? I would say that is true. I would say that is true. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Other than that, I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!